Here we have another box design. This one right here, it's this. So if you want to fit this in a Monte Carlo, you just take that part off there. Take that part off. Take this part off. Take that part off. And take this part off. So only build this. Don't build the top part. And then this will fit right in the back of a Monte Carlo. And it'll be great. Makes lots of bass back there. I made the actual one I made just a little different. I didn't include this piece. And instead, I just put a brace in the center in the resonator there. But that's how this works. There's a, uh, there's a resonator. There's an offset stub thing going on. Let's see if we can find our parts that go back on top. Where I don't even know what parts those are going to be. Is this a, oh, that's one of them. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Do do do. What is this? It's our lower side panel. Yeah, that's what it says it is. Oh my. This is going to be your experience. Upper port brace. Yeah, let's put that back in. Let's put that back in. Where's the side? Well, I don't need the sides on right now. You know what the sides look like. But this is what it is. It uh, It's basically a ported box, except it goes back here like that. See that? And that uh, that cancels your uh, unhelpful bandwidth reducing thing that happens at about three times the fundamental tuning or four times, something like that. I have the horn resp file. It's there for you. Just look at it. See how it works. It's an offset stubbed resonator type thing works pretty good i used it in a monte carlo i haven't made it like this but you can make it like this you could definitely make it like this it's super sick and it fits two 15s by the way you could probably just put uh i don't know two 12s in here just make the baffle a little different and put two 12s in let me just measure something real quick da -da -da. what's the width of this 36 inches you could put three tens in there if you want to. Just make the baffle different. Sure, that's good. So yeah, you can do basically what you want with the with the design. This is what it is. It's uh, it's pretty good. It it does not thunder on the lows with fifteens because the volume is not very big. But it's still pretty good. It's tuned down at thirty three. Here's the title page of the cut sheets. Cut sheets available on archive.org. Uh, let's see. That's the top part or something. I don't know. You're going to have to figure it out, man. You're going to have to figure this one out. I don't want to spell it all out. I'm kind of done with this thing. I built it already. And it was uh, it was a big project. Here's the braces. Uh, if you'll notice, it says baffle brace right here. I didn't even put that in. I didn't put that in on mine, and uh, when I put it into the cut sheet, it basically broke the cut sheet, so I don't put it in there anymore. I just deleted it, so the rest of this stuff shows up. Uh, here we go, and here's here's the title page. I spent a lot of time on this. Got a pretty cool like uh, uh, outline of it right there. I like that. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, anyway, 33 hertz, that's where we're tuned at. Let's get the horn rest file open so I can show you that on the video. I'm using an old version. Go to hornresp.net, get a new one. Uh, import. Let's import the horn resp record. There we go. Now let's hit calculate. You're always going to want to just hit calculate when you get my horn rest files. Don't look at them. Just hit calculate. <laughs> nah, you can look at whatever you want. But anyway, this is this is what it's supposedly going to output with a uh, kicker 15-inch CVX series. I think I used the dual 2-ohm. Uh, yep, I did. So anyway, this is tuned down at about 32, 33 because this is where... It's going to pull the most power and have the least impedance. Uh, I'll show you the impedance curve. And here's what I'm talking about, that cancellation th thing. We're tuned at 33. The cancellation thing 
happens uh, way up here, and we just cruise right through it because we're so cool, and our offset stub is just making that perfect for us. So yeah, that's that's the projected output. Don't worry that it looks like it only hits down to 40. It actually hits down here, a little a little lower. In that Monte Carlo, it sure does. I'm not going to lie to you and say that it's it's the loudest at those really low notes, but I mean if you're putting two fifteens in a trunk, that's that's what's gonna happen. You know? Uh so electrical impedance. Again, looks like we're tuned about thirty three, thirty two, thirty three. That's where we're tuned. Here's what the impedance looks like. You like that? I think you like that. I liked that. Diaphragm displacement, I think this is only at like uh no, get rid of that. This is at like no watts. So, not really relevant, but this box does lock those cones in place with those Kicker CVX 15-inch. Uh, I think you can use the SCAR DDX-15 as well. Uh, or use whatever you want. I don't know. Just just make a, a tactical decision, you know. A tactful decision. Here's our phase. Our phase is, uh, it's good. I like it. Right up until about... Well, there, I like it. And that's that's plenty high. That is plenty high in the range. Group delay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it, really. Let me show you. Let's, uh, uh, let's paste in the SCAR DDX just to look at that. Where is it? SCAR DDX 15 D2. Don't remember where I got those specs from. Let's calculate that real quick. Acoustical power, C. SCAR DDX15. Uh, and subs like that, you're probably going to get a more thunderous, crazy fundamental tuning. And then from there on, it's going to be a little quieter, I guess. I don't know. Uh, once you put it in a car, all this stuff goes out the window anyway. So it doesn't... It, it's, it's not... If you already have Kicker CVX, just just use those, you know? You know what I mean? Like, use what you like between those two. It'll be all right. Uh, so what am I doing here? Let's go with a different driver. Let's just, uh, uh, let's go with the SCAR SDR 12D2. Let's go with two of those. Let's see what those look like. Whoa! So, yeah, these aren't the best i think you could put them in there you'd have like a crazy 30 to like 60 or something it's it's definitely not the best but it'd be okay i think that would bump that's two of those uh yeah go back to input parameters and then let's paste another another driver from the database uh what are we looking for let's go with the sdr 10s except let's put three of them in let's see how that goes uh, let's just imagine they're all in parallel. Sure. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's a lot. Uh, the good thing about this is that you probably won't have this much of a spike right at the fundamental. But, I mean, even if you did, that'd be kind of fun. Right? Uh, so, you know, use what you like. Do what you like. You're going to have to figure it out. Don't ask advice from me. I don't know how to put it together. I don't know what's wrong with this cut sheet. I don't know what's wrong with this model. I don't know which parts are what. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, it's it's not too hard to figure out. It's not too hard to figure out. Just download FreeCAD and look at the model. Hey, if you want to be lazy, you don't want to put that in, just go ahead and don't. Won't hurt me. Won't hurt me. You don't want to put that in, just don't put it in won't hurt me this piece right here you don't think that does anything oh, oh there it's gone you could build that if you want you could put a new piece in between here sure it's fine you could get rid of these i think the box would become pretty floppy at this point but you could do whatever you want have fun everybody use this box design and uh, hit me in my cash app S uh slide through with that paypal give me some doge Give me some douche.
So anyway, yeah, this is this is what it is. I'm I'm taking this a little less seriously because I got so worn out on this project. I never measured like anything. I did build one of these. I did build one of these and it was it was pretty epic. I loved it. It was it was great. Uh but that's that's about all I can say about it. I can't show you a response curve or anything like that. It is what it is, man. It be what it be and sometimes it be like that. So y'all have a great day, uh, great night. Enjoy the design.